InDesign has the ability to create gradients with a large number of colors. Here you can see I've got a gradient with five different color stops in it. Unfortunately, a lot of people also use InDesign's gradient panel to reinvent the wheel, to recreate gradient swatches that come from Illustrator, which has some amazing gradients built in. Let me switch over to Illustrator and I'll show you what I mean. Here we are in Adobe Illustrator. You can see I've got the swatches panel and the gradient panel here, and then these panels, metals, color harmonies, and color combinations, are just three of quite a few gradient swatch libraries built into Illustrator. If you go to the swatches panel, click on the flyout menu, and go down to open swatch library, you will see this rather large pop-up menu. Now you've got all sorts of different color swatch libraries that are pre-built for various purposes. For example, Art History has all these colors that were created to evoke a sense of the ancient or Baroque or Impressionism or prehistoric or Renaissance painting periods. Color Books gives you access to Pantone and Focal Tone and your True Match. Corporate is a set of corporate swatch colors. I'll just click on that and show you what I mean. And we'll switch this to large thumbnail view and you can see. These are some common corporate groupings of colors, and they're solid colors. The majority of all of these swatch libraries are solid colors. The gradients submenu, however, lists a bunch of gradient swatches. So if I choose, let's say, pastels. I get pastel color swatches. So I'm going to select this box and I'll just click on that or that or that or that. Now oh, that's not bad. Maybe we want something metallic. How about gold? Maybe over here we want copper. Maybe it's a silver or oh, blue steel. Or maybe we want a color combination that's that or this or, oh, that's kind of nice. That's very warm. I like that. Maybe we'll replace this one with something really funky like that. So all of these color swatches are pre-built in Illustrator. And you can see on Illustrator's gradient panel here, they're real gradients. You can adjust the gradients however you like. And if I show the options on the gradient panel, you can see, you know, I've got the opacity and location information. I can say... I want this at exactly 50%. I want it halfway through. And we get a nice sharp edge here, which is kind of how you get some of these metallics. And then I'll say, you know what? I like that. I want to take this and drag it to the swatches panel. And now I've got a gradient swatch with that gradient. And the same thing for copper. If you choose any of these from the color libraries, they automatically get added to Illustrator swatches. Right about now, you might be saying to yourself, wow, this is all yay, yippee, and wonderful. For Illustrator, what does that do for me in InDesign? It's actually quite simple. Illustrator has all of these color swatches, all these gradient swatches pre-built. A lot of people look at something like the copper or the gold or the blue steel and then follow this template down here and try and recreate it in InDesign. That's reinventing the wheel. You don't have to do that. I'm going to take these and select all four of these by dragging my black arrow in Illustrator and then copy. We'll switch back to InDesign. And then I'm going to paste with Command V or Control V. Now they come in as a group from Illustrator. You can go up to Object, Ungroup to break them up if you want. But that's not really the point. I don't even really want these squares. All I wanted was the colors. So I'm going to select all of them and delete them. Now I'm going to, maybe I'll make a circle here in InDesign. And then, oh, look at the bottom of my swatches panel. Those gradient swatches from Illustrator came in. So if I select this circle, I can click on any of these gradient swatches and apply them, and they're completely editable on InDesign's gradient panel. Pretty sweet, huh? The only thing you have to do is use them in Illustrator. 
So if I want to take this and I want that green and yellow one, and maybe I want this really striped one and this subtle pink fade, and maybe we'll go with that. Select them, copy them, switch back to InDesign and paste them. And as soon as you do, those gradients wind up in InDesign swatches panel as gradient swatches that you can then reuse. And if you double click them, you can rename them to something more meaningful. So with a simple copy and paste, you can take any color swatch, solid or gradient, from Illustrator into InDesign without having to waste a lot of time on the gradient panel recreating these gradients and reinventing the wheel.